scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There is that which is able to create a supply for your every need. The Word of God and the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, who helps us represent God's fullness on earth. In true intimacy, partnership, and fellowship with Him. Be a part of this and join us as the servant of God, Apostle Joshua Stelman, brings to you the Word of God with simplicity and power. songs hallelujah it's beyond the songs connect with us and know what the Holy Spirit is doing in the spirit hallelujah
2014, just express your praise and thanksgiving. Lord, we thank you for 2013, for the mighty things that you did in our midst. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you for being in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We'll just take about 10 minutes to really appreciate God. I want us to start this year with a depth of thanksgiving for just one thing. We cannot begin to count the miracles and the mighty things that God did, but just one thing. The Bible says, He went about doing good. And healing all they that were oppressed. For God 
was with him. Just one scripture, John 3. John 3, verse 2. We're going to thank God for his presence. John 3. It's an incredible year, but we need to give God thanks. Hallelujah. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know who thou art, a teacher come from God. Read the remaining part, one to go. For no man can do these miracles except God be with him. No ministry can make an impact like this except God be with them. Jesus told them that no kingdom divided against itself shall stand. Hallelujah. He said, how can Beelzebub cast Beelzebub? But he said, if I by the finger of God do it these things, the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word, not their word, the word with signs following. Hallelujah. i like us as a family of faith to just thank God for 2013. We cannot begin to count the mighty things. The revelation, access to truth. The supernatural way that God brought people to this place. Don't take it for granted. Bless him. What he did for your family, the healings, the miracles, the salvations, the transformations. Bless him. Inside and outside, no matter how far you are, make sure you are giving him praise. We have no right to expect anything for 2014 if we are not grateful for what he has done for us. We give you praise. For your word, for divine help. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say. Thank you, Jesus. For the things you have done. And the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of our praise. We magnify your name for the things. From the depths of your heart for the things you have done the battles you have won only you are worthy of our praise we magnify your name just lift up your voice and say lord thank you for your presence that's the greatest asset we have Beyond anointing, beyond skills, beyond revelation, we thank you for your presence. I've said it again, men can fake power, but you cannot fake the presence of God. Make sure you are praying. Let there be a song of praise in your heart. Sing praises, declare, Lord, thank you. I want you to take a quick look at January, February 2013, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. For preservation, we say thank you. For wisdom, we say thank you. For protection, for security, for prosperity.
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to thank him for this year, 2014. Because I'm telling you, it says, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. The glory of the latter house. And when I'm talking about that house, I'm not talking about this building. I'm talking about you, the glory, the glory of my life. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I know the power of the Lord is risen upon me. Greater glory. I see the glory of the Lord. I'd like you to see a new dimension in your life. I'd like you to see a new level of God. I see the glory of the Lord. I see the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. So I rise and shine. I rise My light has come. My light has come. And the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I will arise and shine. is risen and you will see wonders this year I believe it hallelujah 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 just one scripture before we sit down Amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 Amos chapter 3 Shiba Balaba, Dambre Shabalada Bakada Bagada, Nambroso Prati Shalabriati. Amos chapter three, verse three. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. The Bible says, it shall come to pass in that day. Not this scripture, and I'm just quoting something else. He said, the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above all other mountains. And as a result, all nations will flow. Hallelujah. Amos 3 verse 3. Can we read one to read? Answer the question. This is a question the Lord is asking you this year. Can two walk together? In other words, are you ready to move at my pace? We can't walk together if you do not agree with me. There are many things that the Spirit of God wants to communicate, but he said, can two walk together? I want to walk with you. There are great things. Jesus speaking said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. He said, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come. He said, he will guide you in all truth. He will take up the things that are mine and he will show unto you. And so God, the first question God is asking us in 2014 is that can we work together this year? Because you argued with God last year. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness by saying, can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Hallelujah. In Hebrews chapter 4, the Bible began to speak to us about the Sabbath, the rest of God. He said they perished in the wilderness. They perished in the wilderness. Because when the word of the Lord came, they doubted, can God make a table? Where will he get the materials to make the table? And the Bible says they limited God. And God in his anger swore that they shall not enter my rest. And the Bible says there remained this same rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there remained this rest. He said, let it be that today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation in the wilderness. They limited God. There 
minute he rests, there is a Sabbath. There is a seventh day that the Lord wants to initiate his people. He wants to bring them out of somewhere. I want you to believe what I'm saying. And the scripture the Lord says I should ask us is, can two walk together? Not you and your friend. Can you walk together with the Holy Spirit this year? To say, I may not understand how you will do this. But I know you will do it. walk together. Will you finally agree with the Holy Ghost that he can take you from where you are? Will you finally agree with the Holy Spirit and say Lord this year I'm not an unbeliever. I refuse to debate and argue whether I understand. Listen, this is the year you will keep aside the, the, the limitation that comes from logic and intellectualism. Hallelujah. To say, Lord, show me how one plus one will become ten. It's irrelevant. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am. one question the Lord is asking. Is there anything too hard for me to do? God this year, help me sound better. I want you to believe. Believe that God is able. Hallelujah. If you can answer this question tonight, then God is set to get the ball rolling. See, especially for those of you outside, I hope you are following. Don't let anything limit you. Many of us last year were just spectators. Just debating. Can God really do this? Can God really do that? There are some of us who are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the things. Let me tell you, your unbelief, the Bible says, shall their unbelief make the faith of God of non-effect. That means your unbelief will not stop God from being God, but it will stop you from entering that new level. So can two walk together? Can two walk together? I'd like you to pray one prayer and say, Lord, I'm ready to walk with you. I believe you inside and outside. No matter how far you are, make sure you are praying. Don't be distracted. Lord, this is the year that I'm a believer. Logic will not stand my way. The challenges and failures of last year will not stand my way. I don't want to be a fool. I believe you. I choose to walk with you. I choose to walk with you. Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you something. I must let you know that our yearly prophetic words are not just a mimicking of what churches do. Hallelujah. I've made it a culture for years. While many people are celebrating their Christmas, laughing and enjoying I'm traveling with the Lord, finding out what the word of God is. I, I need you to know that we respect God and we honor God. When you see us bring words like this, trust me, God spoke to us. Hallelujah. The Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place, declare thou on the mountaintop. So it's not just some way, okay, December 31st, what do we do? No, no. Hallelujah. 
You don't need to be in 2014 to manifest as light or to have dominion. It has nothing to do with 2014. Hallelujah. When you believe the reality of God, you walk as light and dominion. But it's always been our culture as a ministry. See, let me tell you, the secret of the hand of God upon our lives is we always find out what God is doing globally. And we plunge into the global frequency of the spirit. Not just what God is doing across territories. It's always our culture to find out. What are you doing? The Bible says there were certain men called the sons of Issachar. They took time to understand the times. He said he made light to signify times and seasons. Hallelujah. And so it's our, it's our job to be able to there are many people who preach that at the end of the year into the new year is irrelevant. You go and read the Bible why he made stars to signify times and seasons. As far as the earth realm is concerned, it functions with times and seasons. Eternity does not work with time. But the earth realm is bounded by time. That's why the prophets will speak and say according to the time of life. The Bible will say in the seventh year of the fifth month, of this and that, God did this. God is a God of prophetic timing. Hallelujah. And so I need you to understand that in this season, there are certain things that God is doing across the earth. There are certain things God is doing in the continent of Africa. There are certain things he's doing in the nation of Nigeria. And there is a role we have to play. It is this role that is encapsulated in our theme for the year. This is why many ministries have different things that God told them. Hallelujah. And so the first revelation about a prophetic word is that it shows you God's expectation for you for the year. It's not just about receiving. It's an indication of responsibility. That there is a role that you have to play. Oh, I sense the presence of God so strong. There is a role you have to play. Are you following me now? And there are blessings that are attached when you diligently follow that role. We are not confused at all. I was telling the leaders during our meeting, and I told them that this is not the kind of ministry that is always doing new things every year. All we are concerned about, I pray the prayer and say, Lord, I don't want fame. All I want is impact. Impact upon the body of Christ. Many armed robbers in Nigeria were famous for causing catastrophe. Hallelujah. What we want to see is impact. Hallelujah. A year of light and dominion. This is what the mouth of the Lord has declared and he will bring it to pass. Ours is to believe and to be guided accordingly. And so my job today is to open up the theme and prepare our hearts and watch the things that the Holy Spirit will do. But the question, God asked me this question and he said I should ask the house, can two walk together? There are no two people that can walk together when they disagree. Somebody must succumb to another person's will. Is that true? So, this is not the year you will expect God to dance to your tune. This is the year you will die and let him have his way. And then you will see the wonder-working power of this God that we serve. Hallelujah. It's good to see everyone. Please hug everyone around you. Happy New Year. Inside and outside, make sure you greet somebody with a great smile and sit down. Let's just get to the word very quickly. Hallelujah. Never forget is a year of light and dominion. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great 
There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for what God, what God is doing in our midst. We give him all the praise for his presence. Moses said, if your presence goeth not with us, do not take us from here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's a year of light and dominion. That's what the Lord spoke to us. And I'll be sharing on light. I'll be opening us up to the revelation. What, what is the meaning of this word? Hallelujah. Oftentimes, God communicates his intentions in coded languages and messages. Hallelujah. He would put it and grant grace that that revelation be opened up. When there is an opening of God's word, we can believe and we can walk in that reality. Hallelujah. So what is the meaning of it being the year of light? What does that mean? Just keep the issue of dominion first. What does it mean? What's the light about? Hallelujah. A year of light. There are two dimensions to this prophetic word as being light, a year of light. The first is that God wants us to have light. And the second dimension that is that he wants us to become light. So he wants us to have, hallelujah, and then he wants us to become. The first dimension is the inner workings of light in and through us. And then the second dimension is what we will become to the world. And, and I'm going to just share very quickly. Hallelujah. So God wants us to have light. You cannot become what you are not. I mean, you cannot reflect what you are not. Is that true? And so he wants us to become. To as many as believe in him, he gave them power to become. He gives you power to become. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 130. Psalm 119 verse 130. Please make sure you're writing. What does it mean to have light? What is light? What is God really saying? When he says it's a season, it's a year of light. What is his expectation? What is in the mind of God? Because the Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit can search the mind of God and make known unto us the accurate intentions and counsel of God. Psalm 119. The entrance of thy words giveth light and it giveth understanding to the simple. He said the entrance. Can we have other versions? Is that possible? Okay. Uh, let's try New Living Translation. NLT. Puts it beautifully. The teaching of your word gives light. Hallelujah. The teaching of your word gives light. So even the simple, even those who are void of understanding. Hallelujah. The entrance of thy word. Question. If you pick up your Bible and read, it didn't say the seeing. He didn't say the speaking. He said the entrance. So, how can what you are reading enter you? This is a mystery. He said, if it does not enter you, it cannot give you light. It can be stored as scripture. But it only becomes light if it enters you. The entrance of thy word giveth light. And even understanding to the simple. So what is the revelation behind light? Write it. The first revelation behind light is that light symbolizes supernatural insight into scriptures. Supernatural insight. When God says it's our year of light, that means he's granting us unusual access into scripture. 
insight on common insight opening us up to understand the hidden mysteries the hidden mysteries that are encoded in scripture now you may ask why do we need these mysteries you see because the bible says god made many lights is that true but he made one light to rule so there is a relationship between light and dominion he said he made two great lights and that light although there were many lights the coming of that light enforced its dominion it ruled in the day and ruled in the night so the greater your light the greater you are able to walk in this authority and dominion but since that light comes through the word of god we need insight are you following me now let's see second corinthians 4 verse 6 quickly second corinthians 4 verse 6 second corinthians 4 verse 6 if you can give us in nlt or the message anyone that is available hallelujah please read it the message very interesting it started when god said light up the darkness and our lives filled up with light as we saw and understood god in the face of jesus christ all bright and beautiful he said as we saw and understood hallelujah king james says god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness has shined in our heart to bring to us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus Christ. So light connotes insight. Depth of insight. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. We really, really need the light of God. Accurate insight into the word of God. Because Jesus Christ was cautioning the people and he said, Be careful lest your light be not darkness that means be careful so that what you are calling light may not really be darkness hallelujah luke 11 i believe luke 11 35 let's look at it luke 11 35 just give us an um amplified amplified okay or you can just leave it it says take heed therefore let's start from 34 34 the light of the body is the eye is that true it says therefore when thy eye be single thy whole body is full of light but when your eye is evil your body is full of darkness 35 it says be careful therefore that the light that's in you is not darkness there are many people carrying revelations they think is light but is darkness are you getting me so god is saying as you begin to explore the things you are calling light contend for accurate insight so that you will not be carrying a revelation that is darkness whereas you convince yourself that i have rema there, there are all kinds of revelations in the body of christ and the lord is saying be careful so that what you keep celebrating because of the flamboyancy be careful let you not be beguiled by darkness i'm telling you the truth there are many people carrying darkness around because it sounds good and sounds spiritual hallelujah because when it is light it should set people free it should deliver people it says the words that i speak unto you they are spirit so this is the year to guard your heart with all diligence and make sure that that which you uphold and absorb in your spirit is light indeed for the bible says it is possible that a man can carry darkness and believe he's holding on to light many people have been holding on to dark theologies dark mindsets dark philosophies for decades many of our family members have held on to teachings that were taught by prophets apostles teachers evangelists they will not let it go and the bible says be careful so that what you are carrying if it's a terrible thing when you are holding darkness and you want that darkness to bring light hallelujah supernatural insight 
so that God brings us into light indeed. Hallelujah. It's a very painful thing if after many years you find out that what you've held on to and argued all your life was a lie. Is that true? There are many people who have held on to a lot of things. The baptism in the Holy Spirit for instance. There are so many people who have held on to all of these theologies. There's nothing like that. Deliverance for instance. There are many people who have held on to it. Oh, I'm born again. Everything is all right. But there is darkness in this family. And they will not confront it. No, there's nothing wrong. I'm fine. Until they become acute victims. And the Bible says, be careful. So this is the year when you will edit the things that you have kept in your spirit. And throw out anything that is not consistent with the word of God. No matter how long, it will require humility. Because some of us have argued over darkness for a long time. Hallelujah. Number two. Light connotes understanding and comprehension. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. You must understand. Job 32 verse 8. Eli who began to speak. And he said, but there is a spirit in man. He said, and the inspiration of the almighty... He didn't say gives men knowledge. Make it men of understanding. There is a difference between knowledge. Knowledge tells you what is available. It creates awareness. Understanding guides you on how to apply it accurately. I've always used the example. Knowledge is that when you want to make jollof rice for instance. You need rice. You need pepper. You, that's knowledge understanding tells you when to combine what ingredient where because that you have rice and you have this does not mean you can cook many people have knowledge that puffs up the bible says ever learning but never coming to the comprehension so we have so many spiritual laws around us but we do not understand what principles are responsible for what so we just use any kingdom principle when occasion serves us when you are afraid the nearest thing is the blood of Jesus or Holy Ghost fire or, or the anointing of the Holy Spirit or prayer or agreement. All of these things are spiritual keys. And you understanding is the ability to gain mastery over the operation. The operations of the kingdom. It's not enough to know. It's not enough to know. There is a spirit in man. And the breath of the Almighty can make what you know become understanding. He explains to you. He opens it up so that you are not confused. What makes a doctor a consultant? Listen, listen. Almost there are many things that a fresh doctor knows or a consultant knows that the fresh doctor knows but he doesn't have understanding. Praise the Lord. When, when a consultant is carrying out surgery, he doesn't bring a special knife. Is that true? It's the same knife, the same everything. But there is understanding. And this is what many of us need to have. Understanding. Understanding. So that when you see something happening in your family, you are not confused. You don't panic. You know the exact spiritual law to bring into place. This is what spiritual maturity is all about. Hallelujah. I've said it again and again. The opposite of fear, in my opinion, is not faith. The opposite of fear is understanding. You always fear what you don't understand. There's nobody doubting that the chair you are sitting on now can hold your weight. Is that true? Anything you truly understand, you don't become afraid of it again. A pilot can man an airplane, a big airplane, because he has understanding. And he's not afraid that a tiny man can drive hundreds of people, thousands of feet above sea level because of understanding. Hallelujah. Somebody else can sit on that plane and say, I believe we will not die. That you were not afraid and you died courageously does not mean, are you getting my point now? It's not about dying courageously. It's about not dying. Because at that point, you are flying people. The plane is nose diving and you are saying, I know, we will arrive. Nobody should be still in this plane. You are falling. 
get understanding. Hallelujah. Get understanding. Number three. Light brings direction. And every time there is direction, there is an end to confusion. Direction. Psalm 119 verse 105. Are you getting blessed tonight? So that we don't just say light, 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 light. Direction. The reason why many people run to prophets and apostles and people around is direction. People want direction in every area of their life. Direction. People go to harvest because they want direction. What is wrong in our family and what is the way out? Direction. So when God says it's a year of light, it means that there is an unusual grace to bring accurate direction to your life. Hallelujah. It says, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. A lamp to my feet, a light to my path. That means an end comes to confusion because he will begin to let me see the bible says you shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way not these are the ways choose this is the way walk here in it and he said you will find rest for your soul many of us are trusting god what job to do many of us are trusting god where to settle down all kinds of things Many of us are trusting. Our family members are confused. What business to do? What can I do? Everybody is asking questions. This year, if you believe God, God is saying, I will come to you. You will hear my voice in the night. God will just come and bring direction. Direction that you've been waiting for years. God will say, this is it. Walk in it. Wise men saw the star from the east. And it began, they began to follow that light until they arrived at where jesus was no confusion they followed the light for as long as they kept looking at the light it kept directing them until it settled may the lord take the light and drop where your destiny needs to go and that you will just follow that light into unending levels of blessings and success light oh how we need direction how we need direction hallelujah somebody just gets up and feels like you want to go to saminaka you see there is nothing as terrible as being in a place where god is not because he's not committed to defend you hallelujah psalm 43 verse 3 very interesting scripture direction hallelujah where we are today by the grace of god as a ministry is a product of divine direction the ability to hear god a lot of people say i can be anywhere and i'll succeed try it the bible says whatsoever he does prospers whatsoever he does prospers because it is directed i prophesied as i was commanded not as i wished as i was commanded hallelujah oh send out thy light and thy truth let them lead me let them bring me onto your holy hill and onto your tabernacle let your light lead me this must be your prayer send your light hallelujah send your light let your light lead me Light means life. L-I-F-E. Connotes life. John 8, 12. If we can have it in the Amplified. John 8, 12. Very powerful scripture. I'm telling you all of the things that are encapsulated in this word light. John 8, 12. Once more, Jesus addressed the crowd. He said, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not be walking in darkness, but will have the light which is. There is revelation that you have that will translate into the quality of your life. Are you getting my point? It says that this light, this year, can bring life to you. They are life to those who find them. 
and health. That means the revelation you get can be what will be responsible for divine health. So that it's no longer an issue of guesswork. Hallelujah. Light. The light you have can put you in command of unbelievable realms of wealth and prosperity. And it can add to the quality of your life. One department came to meet me and we were interacting with them and my heart broke so much. I was talking with them and just asking them their expectations for the year and what they want God to do for their life and family. I think almost everyone, their, their requests were just, or their expectations, intimacy with God and financial breakthrough for my family. There are many families that need the mercy of God. Is that true? It's easy for everybody to wear suit and come and sit down and laugh. But the Bible says, if you follow me, you will get light that will translate into life. Prosperity is a formula. It's not guesswork. It is specific. It is exact. And this is the year that you will know it for yourself. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we are unapologetic about wealth and prosperity. I'm not one of those many preachers that say, no, there's no problem. Just seek God. No. We believe. John Wesley said, any religion that does not cater for the economic well-being of the people is an irresponsible religion. We don't want people coming to worship and bow down and cry only to get up and go into prostitution and arm robbery and occultism because of lack. We don't want to hear that our parents are moving out. Landlords are kicking them out of the house and every kind of thing happening. When you are blessed, it gives you options and you can choose to serve God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are many people who, get, who want to get married. For years they've been trusting God but there's no money. It's a terrible thing. Many of our family members want to do a lot of things. There are many of our family members, our parents are almost 60, 70 years. They cannot boast of one good house. Not even a good car to help them. It's, not, it's, it's an anomaly. But this year we will change it by the power of the light of God. Remember, God asked you a question. Can two walk together? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Light also means showing forth. Ah, this is the part I love. Light connotes a display, a revelation, a manifestation, an unveiling. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine. Not because you have entered a new year. Arise, shine because your light has finally arrived. That revelation, amplify it please. Can we see it? Isaiah 60 verse 1. Amplify puts it in a beautiful way. Arise from the depression and prostration which circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. This is a prophecy for somebody. It said arise. This is a prophecy for a family. Arise from the depression. This degradation that circumstances have kept you. It says rise to a new life. It says shine. Be radiant with the glory of the Lord. Why? For your light has come. Arise. This is what many of us will be telling our family members. I tell you this year. This year, some of you will single-handedly go home and just gather your family members and say, salvation has come. What is wrong? What needs to be done in this family? Saviors, the Bible says, shall come out of Zion. It's time, this is the year your Christianity will have practical evidence to your loved ones. Don't blame them for going to Habalist until you can prove that there is a superior government that reigns on the earth. Don't blame them for going to witch doctors. Are you getting my point? Don't blame them for traveling around. We keep criticizing people rather than contending to deliver what is authentic. 
let me tell you something i showed the welfare department yeah that was the department that came to see me i showed them a video pastor jakes called me and said josh you need to see an incredible video i said really what's the video and he showed me the link I, i'm sure some of you have heard it about a lake that just appeared in the east there was an explosion and the lake just appeared and muddy lake but it seemingly had the power to heal people thousands of people at once they went there no protocol no welfare no suit nobody called apostle people were coming from all over men you can keep criticizing human beings are too desperate to listen to you if you cannot bring the authentic light stop wasting your time are you getting my point watch the video and see people almost naked they were videotaping them they were bathing in the muddy water that's because we men of god have failed them we can stand and brag and make noise and they will listen to us immediately they finish they will travel and continue people were cutting the tree they were cutting the tree in the river just to take home Paradventure, it will be responsible for healing and prosperity and all of them most of the people there said it has to be jesus how are you going to tell them this thing is demonic when they sat down in your assembly for years and nothing happened are you getting my point let me tell you something people are more desperate than ever no rema there was no man of god that came to compare spiritual things with spiritual things the people were not daft they came from all over they were to an extent brothers and sisters that they were digging into the ground and when they saw water they just fetched it people made money selling jerry cans selling suya selling you know the bike people the bike people they were interviewed and they were happy they said this has to be god we've never had it this good they said do you plan for this water to stop say why no why this is prosperity i mean ah. we are very unapologetic about the fact that it is god's desire to bless you prosperity does not take people to hell it's materialism that takes people to hell and materialism is not having materials materialism is the influence of what you have on your relationship with god hallelujah lazarus went to heaven with his poverty abraham with his prosperity is still in heaven it was not too much money or lack of money that took them many of the requests of our family members for some of us the whole request of our family members what can bring peace in our entire family is not more than hundred thousand and then they go to a herbalist and give him twenty thousand and it doesn't work they now go and borrow 50,000 and give him because they are looking for solution. May you be that light this year. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We arise and shine. Our light is come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. We arise and shine, a light is come. See the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Hallelujah. Insight, understanding, direction, life is showing forth. The Bible says that we have been called out of darkness into his marvelous light we, we should show forth comes from the greek word doxazo a display of the degree of a king's splendor hallelujah it was the custom of kings in ancient times that when they achieved certain feats they will call people to come and celebrate with them this was the case with king ahasuerus and so he brought them to come and see his provinces this year may the lord make you an object of praise Amen. that he will use you as a testament of what he can do with a man Amen. hallelujah hallelujah when you have all of this then you can now become the light you can now become the light what does it mean to become the light it means to become a standard it means it, it to become a pattern 
to become a reference hallelujah that when they are looking for a genuine authentic christian you can be a reference matthew 5 from verse 14 to 16. matthew 5 verse 14 to 16. the bible says you are the light matthew 5 you are the light of the world the light of this system cosmos you are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden that means whatever has covered your light this year must give way you are a city set on a hill and cannot be hidden verse 15 nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket he said but on a lamp stand and it will give light because of you many people you will be like the ark of noah that incorporated there are people who are not even born again but because of your presence the 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 span of your light will cover certain people there are many of our loved ones that need us without us they may die and the bible says it gives life to all who are in the house verse 16 let permit your light let it so shine before who not before trees god wants your light that which he has made you become he wants it to shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven hallelujah so as an individual you will become a standard this year that you will be a portrait of a balanced christian holy prosperous healthy Genesis 24 verse 1 it says and Abraham was old and well stricken in age and God had blessed him in all things all things all things this is the year we will contend for every part of our life to look like the image of the Christ hallelujah you must contend not that you'll be prosperous and be sickly not that you'll be healthy no no every area of your life let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your heaven, your father in heaven as a ministry this is our prophetic destiny the standard isaiah 49 verse 6 oh i believe this with all my heart oh speak from the heaven and the earth will hear oh speak from your throne and the earth will hear send your word from your throne and the earth will hear my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you, oh God. Take my praise, oh God. Take my praise. Lord, my worship is calling you. Oh God, my worship is calling you. Hallelujah. God gave me this specific word. I shared it with the leaders. This is what God is going to be doing with us. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. This is what we have been doing. To raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of israel but this is the new mandate i will also give thee for a light to the gentiles it says that thou mayest be my salvation not bring it be it you will become a representation of my salvation even to the ends of the earth it says you have been faithful raising people training people building people I now measure a thousand cubits and I increase capacity. He said, I will also, in addition to what you are doing, I will give you as a light. 
I will give you as a light unto the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation to the ends of the earth. This is what God is going to do this year. And then he will bring us through this light into a realm of dominion. Rulership. Let me show you one very powerful scripture. Zechariah 1.21 Dominion means absolute control. It means rulership. Sovereign authority. The ability to be in charge and to be in control. Hallelujah. This dominion is not just dominion over men. But dominion over first the forces of darkness. Are you getting my point? Then said I, what come this to do? Amplify it please. Can we have amplified? Then said I, what are these horns and smiths coming to do? And he said, these are the horns or powers that have scattered Judah. Judah means praise. There are horns that have stopped families from laughing. There are horns that have kept people down. He said, so that no man lift up his head. There are families and destinies where no man has been able to lift up his head. No marriage, no joy, no prosperity, no increase. Their spiritual lives dead. He said, but these smiths or workmen have come to terrorize them. These are the carpenters that God is sending. Hallelujah. He says they have come to terrorize, to cause them to be panic stricken. To cast out the horns or powers of the nations who lifted up their horns against the land of Judah. This is the year you will see the practical displacing of Satan. It will be a contention of light over darkness. Once and for all, the devil will give up over your life and your family. Please believe it. Please believe it. This is what dominion is all about. It's not about being commander-in-chief and telling people, come and clean my chair. This is foolishness. Dominion is the ability to be a light. Hallelujah. He said, those in Nephtha and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light has come to them. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. So there are horns. Remember our teaching, give me this mountain. Brothers and sisters, upon every mountain there are giants. There is a spiritual dimension to this life. Hallelujah. People do not just seek, just succeed or, or experience breakthroughs and increase. But this year, by the grace of God, we will arise because our light has come. And we will compel darkness to bow. And all of these horns that have terrorized people and families, they will give way. One scripture, Psalm 110. Psalm 110, sorry, 110, verse 2. A popular scripture. We'll read it together. 110, verse 2. Let's read, it's projected. It says, the Lord shall send the rod. What is that rod? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. That rod is the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the comforter. He said, the Lord will send a dimension of the Holy Spirit that will open men to light. And on account of that, he said, rule thou. Not in their absence, rule thou in the midst of your enemies. 
Many of you, your parents have not gone to the village for years because they know when they go, they will die. You are the one who will go and say, let me see the devil. Rule thou. Rule thou. This is the year you speak to somebody and say in the name of Jesus, let that barrenness be over and it leaves at once. This is the year somebody will come and lie down on your bed and get filled with the Holy Spirit and just get up, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Somebody takes tea in your house and goes back and unending breakthroughs because they just contacted light. The Bible says the light shines in darkness. Rule thou. The Lord will send the rod out of Zion. See, let me tell you. Your blessing is not authentic until your family members participate in it. This selfish Christianity of chop alone, where it, the, the kingdom doesn't work that way. As for me and my... Hallelujah. I went home and I saw dramatic levels of breakthrough in my house. I said, that's right. This is exactly how it should be. Hallelujah. The devil will be under your feet. Hallelujah. This is why we are teaching. Because the Bible says we should do this. But Hebrews chapter 2 tells us that we do not yet see all things. Remember our scripture? Let's look at it. Hebrews 2. Verse 6 to 8. That's why we need light to enforce our dominion. Hebrews 2. But one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? 7. Thou hast made him a little lower than Elohim and crowned him with glory and honor. Thou didst set him over how many? All the works of your hands. That means nobody can use what was created to do enchantment against me. The Bible says I've been given authority. How can a man use stone or use goat or animal and then make incantations? I pity the man that will call my name in a shrine. This is the year it will catch fire both the herbalist, the person who brought it. The Bible says Dagon fell. Dagon fell in the Bible. He has given him authority over all the works. All the works. Hallelujah. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all things in subjection under his feet, he left nothing that is not put under him. But this is a dilemma. I said, but now we do not yet see all things. Are you seeing why light is important? Without light, there's no dominion. You can claim it, but it may not work. It says the reality now. So it speaks to us about God's perspective. That this is what has been done. But right now, today, we do not yet see all things under his feet. But when light comes, it will grant us access to rule in the day and to rule in the night. Hallelujah. You believe this? These are the mighty things. That God is going to do. Nigeria. The Lord revealed a few things to me. I'm not a prophet. But God speaks to me. And the Bible says. That which I tell you in the secret place. Declare down the mountain top. We need to pray for our government. I saw a lot of political chaos. In fact. A lot of chaos. Hallelujah. We need to pray. A lot of chaos. We need to pray for the president that his life be preserved. Hallelujah. And then the Lord showed me. I saw another terrorist group. That is even greater than Boko Haram. Hallelujah. And they will begin to be pronounced again and again. And this is the wickedness that the devil wants to bring. This will not just be Nigeria. 
across the entire sub-Saharan Africa because it's an agenda there is only one resistance to all of this God hallelujah praise the Lord I saw so many things I told you last year or in 2007 the Lord told me if you can remember I said an economic recession was going to come and hit the world in a very great way that was when I began to talk of massive kingdom wealth transfer in 2008 I said this is the year and when it happened I said again that this is the first one another one is coming and the Lord told me this year the economic recession will hit again for the second time you can't pray against it you can only exempt yourself it's a written judgment hallelujah it's going to happen very chaotic it will humble the government of nations hallelujah it will humble people a lot Nigeria is going to begin to come to the lamb light especially in terms of economics last year I said that Nigeria was going to lead Africa in terms of economic empowerment go and read the newspaper it has happened with over about 400 billion or so ahead of South Africa this is happening God himself is bringing all of this and there will be such a manifestation of deliverance in Nigeria this year this thing called deliverance you will see it in dramatic ways it will no longer just be in churches because of light and enlightenment hallelujah deliverance it will look like an object of mockery but don't you criticize it because it's the, the preparing ground for the birthing of something powerful i told you about ghana south africa and nigeria nigeria is going to is going to do a lot of mighty mighty exploits this year forget about all the stories that people are saying god is faithful hallelujah i also see that the Lord revealed to me a number of things we have to pray against death for many not families here but generally in the country we have to pray against death hallelujah and I saw one of the things that the enemy is doing is infecting people with incurable diseases this one is no longer just hallelujah diseases that medical science may not even be able to detect you just see people just dying hallelujah i don't know when it will happen but i'll keep announcing it i saw the death of somebody who was once a president in this country hallelujah i had seen this two years ago i was there in a vision I saw his obituary and every new year God keeps reminding me I honestly don't know when it will happen but let's watch and see hallelujah and God is going to be doing great things this year we will experience levels of financial prosperity write it write it please write it i'm not just talking write it it's one of the things god specifically told me specifically if you don't believe it no problem you can believe the other things that we have but yes there will be an avalanche of wealth and prosperity praise the lord We need to pray against death. I saw a lot of ABU lecturers dying. A lot of ABU lecturers dying. This thing started last year. I began to caution this thing. A lot of ABU lecturers, especially professors. We need to pray because it's a demonic thing. It's not just normal. No, it's a very demonic thing. I saw a lot of academic exploits too this year a lot of mighty academic exploits please believe me 
believe me, recovery, restoration for people, especially people who have been praying. I want us to pray, so I'll just hurry up. I'm just, I don't want to forget anything. Marriages, miracle, mighty, mighty marriages. I saw this one. It was so much, I was surprised. Honestly, I saw marriages, I was scared. Trust me. We will all live to see it. I don't mean here, Koinonia. Mighty, mighty marriages. Yes. How could I have skipped it? I saw a lot of marriages. Including those who did not even plan it. Yes, I saw surprises. Except, except, look, let me tell you, thank God we'll all be alive to see it. You will see people who did not, it was not part of their goal in January, but the hand of God will move. Just leave God to do what he wants to do. It's a year of light and dominion. That's why God said, can two walk together? Listen, listen. And this is the scripture the Lord told me. When Abraham took Isaac for sacrifice, there was no lamb yet. But he said, just go Jehovah Jireh. God will provide. And the Bible says, listen, when the obedience of Abraham was tested, he said, just go across. There is a lamb. On the second time, when Jesus needed to enter the city, he said, go to a city called Straight. You will see a coat that no man had ridden on it. Tell them the master has need of it. Believe it. I love saying things before they come to pass. Hallelujah. As a ministry, we will experience levels of expansion and impact. I saw it a lot. Levels of expansion. I saw a lot of people getting blessed from Niger, Niger Republic. I don't know what it is about that place, but I saw so many people from the teachings, Niger Republic. So blessed. I mean, it was a wildfire. It was causing a wildfire, especially among the young people. Hallelujah. So many other miraculous things that the Lord showed me. We will discuss it as we come, as, as the year. Um, another, oh, I remember, I must say it. I saw something that shocked me. Well, let me just say it. Still about prosperity. I was taken in a vision and I remember... I was standing in front of this church. This, the, the Equa Church. And I looked and I saw an array of cars. In my mind, listen, listen. In my mind, I was saying, uh -uh. a lot of cars right from that place down. And I was, I was, I was wondering. I said, Lord, what is all this one again? This is amazing. This is what you are going to do for families and for people. And many of them will be gifts. It will not be something that someone will buy. Gifts. Gifts. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. dramatic manifestations of miracles signs wonders in a scale that will shock you families 
I saw a lot of unbelievers. I saw a lot of Muslims coming here. I saw a lot of some of our family members that vowed that they would never come here. You watch them by themselves. You don't need to buy themselves. The mighty things that God will do. Mighty things. Mighty things. In the rain, in the sun. Hallelujah. These great things that God will do. Hallelujah. Do you believe these things I'm sharing? Hallelujah. God will do this for the glory of his name. Praise the Lord. I wanted to say it to him personally, but Bishop, I saw you driving a Camry. Write it. Brown Camry. I've been struggling to tell him. God will bring a lot of prosperity, even in the house. You know, we had been planning for just one bus. You will be amazed to see what God will do this year. Amazed. Amazed. Not just because of Project 10,000. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says, when Jesus was born, some people saw the light and they started coming with their gifts. They came with gold. They came with frankincense. They came with man. And the Bible says they started looking for that star. Nothing would deter them until they found the baby and they began to drop the gift. Watch out and see dramatic manifestations. People would just be sleeping and God would just wake them and say, Come and bless the house of God. Come and bless the work of God. Hallelujah. And I saw this spilling over to many families even restoration restoration supernatural restoration hallelujah very quickly so we'll pray a few resolutions that i want you to adopt this year a few resolutions you need to make up your mind on some things it's not enough to shout amen he said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you war a good warfare with the prophecies that have been spoken unto you. So when prophecy comes, the Bible says a virgin will bear a son. It never said Mary. Mary made herself available. Huh? The Bible tells us someone was going to betray him, Jesus. He never called Judas. Judas aligned with that prophecy. Prophecy is like rain. If you bring a bucket, you will get water. Hallelujah. Number one, you must have a childlike heart of a learner. This year, 2011, you must increase your passion for insight. You must increase your passion. And this requires meekness and teachability. This is the year you throw away arrogance, MOG, MO, whatever. Just throw it away and humble yourself. Hallelujah. When it was time for Jesus to give them bread, he said, tell the people to sit down on the grass. That means if you are too big to sit down, no bread for you. He said, if you are interested in eating bread, sit down. Hallelujah. He says, one thing is needful. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things, but this one thing is needful, to sit. Not to stand and be staring at the master, to sit. A position that puts you in ancient times when a rabbi was teaching the people sat down nobody would stand and be listening to a rabbi so this is the year that you will sit down you must have a passion in your heart to learn some of you even when you come out to pray the way you are praying we know you are far from God you cannot even construct a good spiritual sentence you just mix everything you just know that this is you know how politicians talk when they come on stage, they try to act like they know God, but their addictions betray them. One of the common things in any culture is their language. Hallelujah. Number two, you must have a resolve. You must have a determination to apply and live by the revealed truth, no matter the price and no matter the temporary challenge. You must have a resolve. 
a determination to apply and live by the revealed truths. These truths that you are hearing, it will not profit you. Please, those outside, make sure you are listening. If you cannot write anything, you can come and meet the media people and they'll give you our messages are free after the meeting. Apply the things. It's not just what you know, but what you know, what you understand and apply. Hallelujah. Apply the truth. No matter the price. No matter the challenge. Number three. You must have a resolve to place God and his agenda this year above every other pursuit, above every other quest, and above every other ambition. You cannot give God second place this year. Hallelujah. So it's a time for you to go back and search. What have you put above God? There are many of us, you love God, you are born again. But for sure, God is not number one. You must make him above all. The true proof of love and passion is commitment. You cannot claim to love a man or a thing and not be committed. Doggedly committed. And let me use the opportunity to encourage you. Join a department. There are many of you that have been sitting here for one year, two years. You just come and find the place clean and you just start laughing. It's not good. You don't know how the chairs are clean. You don't know who swept what. You don't know where they had the rehearsals. And, and you are full of potential and grace. There is a dimension that only kingdom service can take you into. This should be the year. Many of us are afraid of commitment. Because we know we don't want to be serious with God. You don't want a situation where people will probe your life. There are many departments. Make yourself available. Hallelujah. Make yourself available. Huh? So, just coming to sit inside and sit outside, immediately they finish the grace, you and your friend, you just run away. Serve the Lord with diligence. Hallelujah. Number what now? Four? Okay, just two more. Resolve to see the glory of God revealed in every area of your life. Make up your mind that this year, I'm not going to celebrate God in one aspect of my life and then have another aspect staring at me. That means you must go and write all the areas of your life. I have a series on prosperity coming, so I'm going to teach on that. But let me give you a preview that there are five areas of your life that you must experience prosperity. The word prosperity comes from the word prosper. It means to do well. First is spiritual prosperity. Second is mental prosperity. If you're a billionaire and you are mad, you are not, that's, that's, it doesn't make sense. Is that true? Number three is your health. Number four is your finances. And number five is your relationships. These five areas. You must contend and tell God this year, I must have rest round about. The glory of the Lord must be revealed in every one of these areas. Five, resolve to enforce order in every area of your life. This is very important. Many of us are so disorganized. This is the year you will grow up in Jesus' name. Disorganized in every area of our lives. This is the year you bring yourself into a level of decorum. Have order. Hallelujah. One proof of excellence is order. When everything is done decently, when everything is done in order, order means efficient management of your time, your opportunities, your resources. Bring your life under divine order. No wasting of time, no wasting of resources, no wasting of opportunities. You must bring your life under divine order. Hallelujah. And finally, you must make a determination to spend time with God this year in worship, in prayer. Let seven days not pass. Let a week not pass that you will not dedicate at least a day in prayer and fasting. Those who built us spiritually did not teach us that prayer and fasting are part of the tools for efficient spiritual growth. So every time we do it, 
a lot of people just say, oh, okay, let's fast for seven days or 21 days or 30 days or 40 days or 100 days or 200 days. And then after that, the people now say, God, I've given you your own share of the year. Leave the other one for me. No. Fasting must be part of your life at least once in a year or once in a week, sorry. Thursdays are a good time to fast. You can fast on Thursdays. Prepare yourself. If you can't fast full day, at least fast half day. Quality half day. Quality half day. Don't wake up by 10 and, and pray by it. See, you remember the resolutions we are making. Some of you are already laughing. This is the year when you will be serious with God. If you want true spiritual power, spend time with God in fasting. Don't let anybody tell you the era of fasting is over and so on and so forth. No, no. Thursdays, for instance, 6 to 12, 6 to 2, 6 to 4, 6 to 6, as God grants you the ability, very soon it will become part of your life. And then you will see the enormous spiritual capacity. He gave unto one five, unto one two, unto one one, not according to their prayer request, according to their ability. The capacity they gave him determined what he gave them. When the man with five increased capacity, he sees it from the person with one and added to him. If you enlarge, when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped flowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our priority this year as a ministry will be to build, to equip and empower God's people. Even through these meetings, we will keep on doing what we are doing the hand of God is here. By the grace of God, we trust that this year, God will use this ministry in a very mighty way. Hallelujah. That every week will be a time of an unveiling of deep truths, applicable revelations that you will see transformation in your life. I was praying to God and I was, I think I was discussing with the welfare. I said this year by the grace of God, I plan, I, I, I don't know, I, I, let me not implicate myself here, but I pray that God will help me. Hallelujah. I want to make sure that as much as possible, every Friday I'm around. You see, because my primary assignment is not to the nations around. My primary assignment is to you first. If you are not well fed and I'm around making everybody saying Joshua Selman Koinonia, and my own people are dying here. Reminds me of some of our parents, isn't it? We'll be dying at home and they're donating money in, in foundations and, and charities. Which is good, but make sure your own people are well fed. You can even add that as part of your goals this year. That you will not do anything to anybody outside your family except God instructs that you have not done to the people around hallelujah if you buy chicken for other people then it means that there's chicken in your house if God gives you an instruction it's okay but where you just get up and stab the people in your house to feed other people it doesn't make sense hallelujah praise the Lord we trust God that we will experience healings deliverance and restoration and breakthroughs even through the power of the Holy Spirit we really want to take advantage of our counselings, our Monday counselings. From this night, officially, we've resumed work. Our counselling, we want to dedicate time to minister to the people. Our Friday programs, Koinonia, School of Ministry. Uh, more announcements will come on that, but we plan to take the School of Ministry very, very serious. It's a special time we have to train and build our students, our external ministration, media ministry, and so on and so forth. We are doing a lot uh, in Koinonia this year. And as other instructions come by, we will comply accordingly. Hallelujah. Say after me, this is my year of light. It's my year of dominion. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Rise up on your feet. We're going to take some quality time to pray. This is how to establish the prophetic word. We're not rounding up. We're praying. Hallelujah. I want us to take some time to pray. It says, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy. 
that you war a good warfare. What does it mean to war a good warfare in prayer? To say, Lord, I receive. This must be part of my life. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Please, I want you to pray instrumentalist. I hope you're ready. We are going to pray very, very seriously. Very seriously. Lift your voice and begin to thank him for the prophetic word. Say, yeah, of light and dominion. Begin to bless him. Thank you for the word, oh God. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. I believe the word. Make sure you are praying. Outside, everywhere, make sure you are praying. This is between you and God. You are making the word real to you. Lord, is my year of light, my year of insight, increased insight. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the word. I believe the word. I will see it manifest in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Supernatural insight into scripture. Say, Lord, open my eyes this year. Lift your voice and pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Show me hidden mysteries. Let there be an unfailing, a revelation of deep kingdom mysteries deep kingdom principles that are responsible for victory, for health, for prosperity that will empower me to be an ambassador indeed. Open my eyes. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching the inward parts of the belly. Open our eyes, so oh God, that we may behold wondrous things out of your law. Rekoto sekete kedeba, man prosko proskele ba kaya da banana ba. Give me revelation. Pray. Paul said, "For this cause, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that He may grant unto you the spirit of revelation and understanding, the eyes of your understanding being flooded with light, that He may know." That she may know. Pray. Open my eyes, oh God. Open my eyes, oh God. Hallelujah. Insight. That you will just pick up your Bible and God will show you something that will set you on your feet. It will show you something. That will open you up to a, another world of grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Two years or three years ago. One time I was praying. And the Lord showed me a vision. And that thing changed my life forever. I saw. Like a big. Like an ancient door. And when I looked at it very well. I found out that there were small, small doors that made up that big door. And when I came closer, it, it was like they zoomed me. And when I came, I found out that on every of those small, small doors, there were scriptures written on it. And the Lord told me that whatever scripture that truly enters you, that door is open unto you. That means what is possible for Sam, huh? may not be possible for Folake. Are you seeing that? The difference is that the light you are seeing is not sufficient to open that door. But the Bible says, I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. We are going to pray for understanding. It's not enough to have insight. Listen, listen. Take this prayer point seriously. You're going to say, Lord, 
all the principles that are responsible for the various areas of lifting show me how they work show me how they work lift your voice and pray show me the keys of wealth oh god show me how to operate it show me the keys of the anointing show me how to access the fountains of spiritual power show me the keys of holiness show me the keys of deliverance show me the keys that will make me command power even in my family make sure you are praying understanding and with all you're getting get understanding know how it works know how it works it's not enough to have keys know how to apply it for maximum results pray pray show me oh god the keys show me how to operate it the bible says they know not neither do they understand and so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course show me i tell you many of you as you are praying right now god will begin to give you understanding show me the mystery behind the operations of wealth show me the mystery behind the operations of grace show me the mystery what makes the spirit of god become so real to a man show me the secret of church growth the secret of increase the secret of influence the secret of leadership the secret of power the secret of abundance show me oh god the mystery of doing business in deep waters of the spirit show me show me teach me oh god hallelujah 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 we're going to pray isaiah 48 verse 17 can we project that let's see i hope i'm right Everybody read it. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this year, you are going to direct me and my life will experience increase only. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit. I can teach you how to do it and lead you in the way that you should go. Lift your voice and pray. Rekoto Sekata. Divine direction. Let the stars shine. Let the morning stars shine, oh God. Lead me to the place of destiny. Lead me to the next level. I'm tired of confusion. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Show me, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Maritally, give me direction, oh God. I cry for direction. Financially, give me direction, oh God. Academically, lead me, oh God. Let the star arise. And let me follow the star. In terms of my career, lead me, oh God. Rekoto Seketa. Lead me. Show me in my ministry. Show me, oh God. Show me. Give me direction. Pray. Illumination. By light. I am the Lord that teacheth thee to profit and lead you show me show me show me oh god where you want me to be what you want me to do who you want me to connect with show me oh god 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Next prayer point. You are going to pray and say, Lord, let a new dimension of unction, let a new dimension of power man to my life. This year, Lord, I want to move in the anointing in a level of grace. He said, and he measured a thousand cubits. Lift your voice and pray. A thousand cubits. And he was to my ankle. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Pray. My horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And you will anoint me with fresh oil. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, had anointed you. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Pray. Lord, I'm moving in the anointing. Pray. This is the year you do business with the anointing. You do your job with the anointing. You minister with the anointing. You conduct your activities under the influence of a heavy unction. He says you have an anointing from the Holy One and you know all things. Pray. Pray. Worship Him. Pray. We minister with the anointing. Media, pray. The anointing takes us to another level. Prayer band, pray. We are praying with the anointing. Regoto Seketa. Koinonia, pray. This is our year of the anointing. Inside and outside. No matter how far you are. Let that anointing take you. Walk in signs, wonders, miracles. Let the sick be healed through your life. Let breakthroughs. Let chains be broken. Let lives be delivered and restored. Let sinners be saved. Let the anointing make you a savior. Let the anointing make you a deliverer. Hallelujah. 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 Two more prayer points and we're done. Please, everybody, participate. We're establishing the prophetic word right now. Hallelujah. Listen. This next prayer point is very important. You're going to pray. Listen. The Bible says, Arise. It says, Shine. And the Bible says in Daniel... I believe 12 or 22 or so. I can't remember verse 3. It says, And they that be wise shall shine like the firmament of the heaven. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars even forevermore. Listen, you are going to pray. It's not a selfish prayer. Don't pray for your neighbor. You are praying for yourself. You are going to say, Lord, display, show what you have put in me this year. My God, let men see the hand of God. Go ahead and pray. Unveil it, unlock it, oh God. In 2014, my year of light, I manifest. I am a city to my family, in my department, in my faculty, in my place of work, in my place of business. Let there be a showing forth. Show forth, oh God. Show forth prosperity through me. Show forth a healthy Christian through me. Show forth holiness through me. Show forth breakthrough through me. Let me become a portrait, an epistle. Show forth. Manifest, oh God. Manifest, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are many of us. This is the year. Your destiny helpers are, so, so, are supposed to see you. Hold on. You are going to pray that that veil 
that has covered that grace of God in you, that unction, the Bible says there is this treasure. There are many of you, you have been relegated to the background. This is the year. This is the year. Say, Lord, arise in me. Come on, pray. Lord, arise. Let men see you through me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If you are looking for a vessel, I'm available. Let me be an epitome of the anointing, an epitome of wisdom, an epitome of wealth and prosperity, an epitome of leadership, an epitome of power, an epitome of revelation. Pray, pray. Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, this prayer is so powerful. There are many of you that have business ideas, but nobody knows. It's an idea that can bless you and stop hunger in your family but nobody knows when light comes it exposes darkness let me show you a scripture galatians 1 galatians 1 let's just look at that one scripture galatians 1 verse 23 and 24 galatians 1 god wants to walk through you not for pride and arrogance are you getting me I'm not talking of the kind of lifting and influence that takes you to hell. But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preached faith which once he destroyed. 24. Everybody read it. One to read. And what? How did they glorify God? That means when they saw what God did with my life and they said lord is this what you meant when you said you can bless people is this what you meant when you said you can use people are you ready to pray this prayer again lift up your voice say lord i'm available i'm available make a spectacle out of my life lord make a spectacle out of koinonia in 2014 Dog Sasso, let there be a display of the glory. Let the nation see we are a city on a hill. They glorified God in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to pray for yourself now and your family. And say, Lord, it's also my year of dominion. Listen, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, I don't just want to chorus this. It must be dominion. Dominion means absolute control. Are you listening to me? Therefore, pray that for you and your family, whatever has mocked God to your face, this is the year it must come under your feet. Lift your voice and pray. Dominion, oh God. Kingdom authority. Pray. Is it finance? Is it a terminal disease? Is it lack of breakthrough? Is it sin? Your family members are not saved. Pray. Get angry in your spirit. Those outside, are you praying? Those outside, are you praying? Rekoto Shekhetai. Total dominion. No more fibro this year. No more getting sick and getting well. No. Pray. 
no more prosperity today and poverty tomorrow you will not be on fire today and backslide tomorrow no the part of the joss is as a shining light it shines brighter brighter hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord now you are going to pray for koinonia we are going to say lord take us to another level take us to another level another level of impact another level of prosperity pair yourselves into three pair yourselves into three those who are lying down or praying just leave them those who cannot stand just leave them I want us to pray seriously hallelujah you're going to say lord lift us up we're not just asking for fame we're asking for impact salvation transformation come on lift your hands and pray let this place become bethel the place of bread bethel the place of bread if you love this ministry pray the ministry is not Joshua Selman the ministry is you Lord a harvest of souls a harvest of souls a harvest of souls a harvest of souls transformation oh God drunkards will come here and become apostles prostitutes will come and become prophets your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst your word is mighty and it prevails in our midst this year we experience character we experience excellence at another dimension. We experience wealth and prosperity as a ministry at another dimension. Revival, oh God, let there be a fire of revival that will spark from here and spread to the nations and spread to cities and spread to campuses and spread pray pray for our friday programs pray for the counselings pray for all our external administrations pray pray for the miracle services lord let every service be a miracle service beginning from this one let every service be a miracle service let this place become a solution center. Let this place become a place of authentic miracles, authentic signs, wonders, breakthroughs, restoration. Let the sick come and be healed. Let blind eyes be healed. Let incurable diseases be cured. Let there be a mantle of healing, of breakthrough of prosperity may men come here and have their spiritual lives fired up fired up passion oh god passion oh god for the things of the spirit this is a place where we infect people with hunger with passion with fire for the things of the kingdom pray this is a place of love no discrimination no discrimination this is a place of love everyone is special everyone is honored we will not teach error in this place hallelujah hallelujah now listen to me 
there is an agenda I've shared with you my vision I will continue to share it years ago I was praying I think I was uh, I can't remember what was happening and then my my ceiling just disappeared I didn't see a building again and the next thing I looked and I saw a giant creature mighty creature the eyes as big as the head of a man and then it was it looked like a dinosaur but the tail had its own life meaning you could disconnect the tail from the body and it would still be in existence and it was just fuming with red eyes looking at me and saying so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was the end that was when I agreed that prosperity is spiritual if all you have is a contract you are joking if all you have is a shop well done but you are in trouble if all you have is a good business you heard the testimony of this dear um, wonderful man that came from Koza that just shared here now estates and everything just given no it's not just a man that gave him there is a spirit behind it you need to be empowered to fail I hope you know that when you are failing consistently there is an anointing making that happen an anointing is simply an empowerment everybody hates you you are supposed to bless me as soon as i come you hate me i now go here and i'm too late it's not normal when the coincidences are too accurate there is a spirit making it happen someone calls you and says, please come let me give you something to pay the rent of your family the moment that statement happens the devil makes sure that the man receives a call that is an emergency call are you seeing that now and he leaves the office you arrive at the office you find out the door is locked he says if the young man comes just give him two thousand to go back it's a lie the man did not leave something happened there is a spirit behind that operation how many of you have gone to to seek people over something that is so simple maybe just a signature and it will take two weeks three weeks you believe it's normal and then sometimes a man of god may pray for you and speak and you go back and the person who should not be there in the afternoon is now there he was not there an angel kept him there this is how this kingdom operates your destiny helper the destiny helper of your family can be two blocks away from you but because there is no spiritual connection my brother and my sister you can stay 15 years whereas the person ordained by God to lift you is just two blocks you will go to America and return back like a thief you will go to UK and return back like somebody that God hates but the day God decides to locate you you will be surprised Is God speaking to us? That's why we're here tonight. You can be a man of God and like the gentleman who listened to discerning the body. Probably God has been telling you, look, your ministry will never grow until you receive a word of impartation and prophecy. But you'll be surprised how you'll be planning for five years. I will come for koinonia. You will now say next week. You will say, Kai, uh, ah, I'm feeling cold. Let me just relax. As soon as you want to travel, your sister will just say, ah, I just came on break. Let me tell you, all those acting is a lie. But there's something about the will of man. The day you stamp your feet and say today, I name today as my day of breakthrough. The Bible said today if you hear his voice, every day becomes your today until the day your faith says no tomorrow again. It has to be today. Are we together so tonight I don't want you to sit down and waste your time you are hearing people testify my brothers and my sisters I tell you by the grace of God there is enough grace and power to turn your life to bring any it's not very difficult no it's just your connection stop the arguments the war that is happening in your head can God do this you can't leave Lagos leave the east leave the north i 
and come and sit down you are wondering you believe that God brought you to waste your time no sir no sir I tell you in a moment in a twinkling of an eye oh can can the hepatitis go can this go we are talking God here we are not talking the the chief consultant of a, a, a hospital the God of heaven can that yoke go we are nine people in our family apostle nobody has a job it's not about the job the devil has seen that in the job of those nine people is the bread of maybe 30 children those nine people the money from those nine people who empower a church to preach and save somebody who will become a mighty man and for the sake of that mighty man those nine people will remain poor it's not about the family hallelujah if satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say i've tried ah but there's a song that says satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> We make our boast in the Lord. In the next few minutes, we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place. Let me tell you. First of October, we'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria. He has tasted what is in America, what is in Russia, what is in this. And then you see your life change. A miracle is a wonder. That, that the limit. Oh, hold his hands. Try to stop him. Two of you. You know that game they used to play? That you try. Oh, yeah. Do it now. You are, uh, don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much. Sorry. You are not very kind. Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this, this one. Because, you see, I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay. If I leave you like this, you are not oppressed, but you, are, you still don't have breakthrough. You are free from oppression, but you have not entered your inheritance. So you can't testify. But whatever that is, when it comes to you and you go to it, and then I leave you. My job is to... And, and the thing is that all these things happen through words. The word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance. And then by next week, you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying, God, what is this? What is this? Then two weeks later, five people, all barren in your family, are saying, ah, I, I, I think I'm pregnant. Then you just remember, ah, what has happened? A man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church, and yet you see 10 people, 15. During a convention, they grow to 30. By the time service is finishing, there's 20 back. And all of a sudden, something happens. And one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say i'm here in your church today to watch what happened and you said i never believed that we we'll buy canopy for an overflow but the anointing god brought you here to change your life listen to me i repeat god brought you here to change your life he didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia no this is a miracle service. 
a miracle service is not a teaching service i will take out time and teach you but this is a miracle service there are some of you you may not be sick you may not be oppressed but you need to carry something that ends every argument result my brothers and my sisters is the end of every argument i can lie to you or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square and i can argue because i'm not seeing it but if you bring out a pocket square and i see it this is the end of the argument it would be stupid to still argue at that point you will let everybody know you are a madman this is the result could it be that you have been talking too much let the anointing talk I, I will i will build the house i know god is faithful i will do this and god is saying no moses only spoke small and then the rod kept talking you have been talking forever some of you you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that god will give you you stood before the red sea for forever it refused to part but god brought you here to carry something that you go back with it and it will shock you my brothers and my sisters that that red sea will part and you will call your family and say finally we've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road that the river can part tonight i want you to know that god wants to do this number one because he loves you but number two there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him don't ever let anyone fool you hearing is our father glorified john 15 and verse 8 this is how i am glorified galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says and they glorified god in me not that they glorified god on the throne they looked at my life they saw that god can do this you no father no mother who gave you the job who did you know from the top you're a man of god i used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what god can do if it is the lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you god takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what i said god does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like julius berger will build a house and put b god will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human i hear testimonies of people every time the things that god does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no oh. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? so when he decides to stand up and say who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming the bible says even the mountains keep like lambs my god is mighty our own belief many times is the reason why god does not move we come and sit down and pile up some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful but you are there wondering can you move oh god concerning my money can you move concerning my money can you move concerning my health can you move concerning my wife and god is saying yes i can i am willing and i'm able and then the devil comes very quickly and says if god could move did the man of god pray for you in by march didn't your pastor fast seven days for you and you say it's true oh, that's the devil tonight your faith must be open 
your faith must rise to the heavens to say lord i don't want to leave this place just knowing i'm blessed i want to know what happened to me i want to hold a substance god is speaking to someone here this this sharing the grace and say ah were you blessed oh my god miracle service was powerful that's not a blessing no you can hold on to something and know that i left this place what happened the pain is gone i left this place what happened that before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting god for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of god touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you're saying my god i've gotten this elisha knew when he got it elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the lord god of elijah and the river parted you are trusting god for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying, I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god thank god for people falling and flying up and down but your eyes is stayed like a flint lord i left lagos this morning and i came here i left bielsa and i came here my car almost had an accident lord i would have been in a convention now as a man of god i left it to be here i'm looking for something let something come from heaven and your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven and all of a sudden boom i tell you in one minute I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade. There were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore. Whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Abba. I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the load has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. 
I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family. That pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch. A second touch over my family. My loved ones are not born again. Lord, I can't watch them go to hell like this. Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages. the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want you to see the Lord lifting your burdens. You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. You are I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. Three. 
to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just passed like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we are going to pray now and like i always say you'll find out when i pray you're going to see people running around in and out please just guide them and bring them out ushers whether you are an usher or not the ushers can only do so much i want to pray once i pray that prayer listen please i don't want you to get listen please hold on i don't want it, the idea is not about people falling down carrying them please let your spirit be open be open for when your word will come be open for when god will visit and locate you that, that's that's what you're here for so i want to pray that prayer now jesus <laughs> i'm seeing a lot of those people at overflow one a lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer I know overflow one the overflow outside you see let me tell you this when a man listen when a man does not have speed in his life you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do it it takes more than just power right please help those in overflow one my god i'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at overflow one outside now listen when there is no speed in your life listen imagine that i have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the Spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done three days this powerful redemption did not happen 
in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying thank you jesus the lord is asking me to shout jesus not you now i'm the one shouting jesus i'm going to shout it and at the third time i tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of god let me have those people out lord you are bringing speed to your people and i know that there are angels all around it's time to change people's levels and even as you have instructed me oh god as i declare that name that is above every other name i pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position that in the name of the god of heaven an anointing will shift that person into his destiny jesus that's number one mm. jesus that's number two get ready now jesus let that anointing right now i shift man speed speed to your life oh god let every delay be broken now i command the spirit of delay be broken speed i shift you by the power of the holy ghost help that woman please help that mama there please help them whether you are an usher or not speed speed in the name of jesus i command everything that has refused to move in your life i move it by the power of the holy ghost i'm still praying i'm still praying the holy ghost is moving you except this prayer is not for you there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the holy ghost lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service lift your hands please i'm praying for some of you now is the same prayer but it's no longer just for you you may not be experiencing it but your family needs speed the anointing now is moving from individuals to families lord where are the families that need the shift of the holy ghost i decree and declare right now i speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 i decree it i declare it i decree it and i declare it no more delay i stretch my hands i'm seeing an angel of the lord just on this road i stretch my hands right now i move people god is moving people here i decree i declare i decree i declare i decree i declare by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus it must work for you i shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit 
take away delay from your life right now in the name of Jesus now all those in front I'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three I speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one, two, three go, 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 go I lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your yes I'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the Lord is saying that he's shifting things I'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken let that chain I command that devil I'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of Jesus hallelujah be sensitive I want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold I give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but I want to pray a dangerous prayer I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I cross Satan. I cross his works inside, outside. I command every power, every force. Go now. Go now. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Just give me the volume. I'm seeing fire by my left and right. Just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now. As I'm walking here. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil. You must go now. You must go now. You must go now. I declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. As soon as I come close to you, that fire, and there is an anointing. You can't stand it. It's impossible. As soon as I come close to you, as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way right now in the name of jesus the power of god is coming this area this direction let them go now release them i come by the anointing of the holy ghost let them go now let them go now release them i'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach release them now let them go in the name of jesus let them go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I stretch my hands here right now the fire of God is setting people free now lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them lose them now lose them lose them in the name of Jesus 
Lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone praying. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone praying. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata nika egeto sata rikata embreketo sheketa akato shekriaka manta brekotos. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power. By fire, by fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen. I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight overflow too please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 be broken hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord now listen i didn't know we have an extra overflow here i want to pray for those by the side here as I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two. Let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow three, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow three, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. 
I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone, happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me I'm coming back, but I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow three. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder, but that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen, but a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you, I speak as one send. At the count of three, let them go. One, two, three, go, 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 let them go. Lose your hold over their lives. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Hallelujah. I'm inside this place now. And I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life. There is a mighty anointing. Lord, where are they? Shagatos kapakarikata. Drink of that wine. Mantekatos ketekekata. Shabrakata. A ministry of signs and wonders. Ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. A ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. I'm still praying. The anointing of the Spirit is still locating men. I don't know why God is talking about ministry. The call. Don't run away from the call. Don't run from the call. A ministry of signs and wonders. The Lord is telling someone, you are the liberator of your family. A ministry of signs. Signs, 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 signs. There are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Hallelujah. Main auditorium, lift your hands. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium. And I stretch my hands from here. It doesn't matter what overflow. You just be sensitive to what God is doing. Main auditorium. I'm seeing eight people. Eight people in the main auditorium. At the count of three. Right now in the name of Jesus. Fire will come upon your hands. I'm prophesying to the main auditorium. But everybody can receive. 
I decree and declare that healing anointing. One, two, three. Let that anointing come now. Let it come now. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm seeing. Oh my God. The Lord is opening my eyes here. I'm I'm seeing someone. Don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed. Your father, I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest. This is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus, I break that force now. I break that force now. I break the force now. Testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. let her go now out out now now this lady wearing a red hair tie in the name of jesus i'm seeing a grace that is coming let that anointing come upon you in the name of jesus christ let that anointing come upon you hallelujah overflow three 
I'm seen by the spirit. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already. Written already. I'm going to pray. Listen. Except God has not sent me. As I'm praying, some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes. You are going to see victory and deliverance. In fact, I see a family where three of your siblings, they've married. None of them has a child. None of them at all has a child. They've done everything to do, but there's no child. But I stand in the name of the Lord. Father, where are those families? Right now, like a mighty wind. Like a mighty wind, oh God, let it end right now. Let there be an opening. Let there be an opening. Let there be an opening in the name that is above all names. Let there be an opening. Young lady, come. Call that lady for me. Call this gentleman too. This man. Yes, bring him. In the name of Jesus, you need to be delivered. I command the spirit that torments you to go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you. My dear, hold my hands to you i'm seeing that your life is about to change two weeks from now it will surprise you what the lord is going to do in your life i decree and i declare it over your life i stand by the anointing and i pray for you father according to your word within two weeks turn this lady's life around supernaturally in the name of jesus emeka who is emeka emeka i'm hearing a name emeka overflow three here I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste our time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYSE. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people i will count four at the fourth count one two three where are they oh god four nine people nine people the spirit of prophecy the spirit of prophecy all of you open your mouth and begin to pray everything you desire overflow three open your mouth and decree open your mouth and decree i'm seeing an anointing around here who is that person i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as i'm standing here father let the chains be broken now the anointing of the spirit find that person let the chains be broken right now right now right now right now right now right now be broken now Hallelujah. please everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray everyone pray hold on there's someone here the lord is saying i'm rolling away your shame i'm seeing light as i was just passing i just saw light two people let the anointing find those people now two people right now i decree overflow two right now in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. I'm hearing a name. 
who is gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan gabriel maroon kaftan is there someone like that what's your name do i know you lift your hands my brother god is about to change your life god is about to turn your life around um where are you coming from i want to pray for you you love jesus what is is it poleku or aleku what is that huh huh where are you from benway state you are from benway state this is what has tied down your life and your family i want to pray for you i'm not a herbalist there eh? father in the name of jesus let this gentleman be free right now i command that devil to leave you now just keep him there in the name of jesus these two people this gentleman you yes and the lady by you come quickly please low 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory what do you do my friend you are a student you love jesus i want to pray for you huh yes, are you together yes sir because i saw light on you. husband and wife yes please sir well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me you are not truly born again if your friends don't change hear it from me all this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends if if i am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together i'm close to a drunkard that means i can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by is that true so my friend you love god eh? but you see um look at what i'm doing one leg in one leg out huh don't be embarrassed when i make the altar call you need to run and come quickly jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to just for no 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 no. Let, let's take god serious and take him look what i see my friend i see god turning your life in a way that will surprise you but friends and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone it's a message to many of us because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of a hit or fail God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady come i'm looking at you i'm seeing a young lady but i'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes. I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman. And if my word base is not sound and balanced, I will, I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch. You see the mistake we make? That we call people and then assuming now they are married, I will now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh. You, do you know what it means to be a witch? 
so god is you see that god is is balancing a lot of things in our lives let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision i already know what is happening it is true that the lady needs help but it doesn't mean imagine that i look at this lady now and say my dear, you're a witch no this is a lovely she has a beautiful heart i already see by the spirit very beautiful heart but it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression it takes the power of god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves so many of you are here you find out for instance the moment you enter a relationship come for instance as you mean i enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me have you seen that happen i'm doing well in business but just because i married this lady i start going down and now you meet a man of god and if the man if you're in ministry here please be careful you have to trust god for grace to be balanced are we together i can now look at this lady and say ah your wife is the reason behind your failure um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady huh we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you're a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands i decree and declare ah halushia kaprahasku debakatuskia i'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus i command this devil i'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now my dear i set you free and i open the door of favor for you right now please everybody lift your hands i'm seeing i've not seen this in a long time i'm seeing the map of nigeria and i'm seeing an anointing going to benway state benway state now benway state you are from benway state you see that that power will touch you even if you don't know what state you are from benway state lord where is in the name of jesus the power of god is bringing deliverance benway state in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names in the name of jesus madam i'm going to pray for you two things i'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come Hi. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma huh i'm looking at you and i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed i hope i'm not embarrassing you i want to pray for you i give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you i lay my hands right now and i declare i'm seeing chains leaving you i command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here, because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. 
in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. And Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives... Even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you, your dad, your father is a priest currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now! Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Hi. Jesus' power is really superpower. Really superpower. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Her father is a priest, though, not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times... She has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, grant him access to the healing anointing. Your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this this because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God. Your heart with him. Your heart with him. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take away distraction from her life. Right now, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I take away distraction. I take away distraction. I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. My dear, come. This lady waving your hands. Come quickly. Your life is about to change. Come. Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. <clears throat> Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No, we came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. 
in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands that anointing you will start having dreams receive that grace two of you need empowerment ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come Oh, 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 I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head. And if I don't pray for you, this load is going to destroy you. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from? Are you new here? Uh, by Elsa. By Elsa. Hmm. All the way. I think we should appreciate them. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate. Evangelist. But both of you came from yes, by Elsa. Are... You're an evangelist. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Baisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Baelsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you because what i see god do through your life i'm seeing god giving you two things the grace for leadership number one number two the grace for finances these two graces god is giving it to you i don't know you sir i'm seeing you for the first time ma you are an evangelist i'm going to pray for you what do you do you hold crusades and all of that no i i usually have meetings every month and then i speak on radio i have a live radio i do my evangelical on radio and then oh you do a live radio yes large radio talk show. three things one barrenness two poverty three witchcraft you are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back don't forget huh the same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady, this one, this one, this lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator, the same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelism I hold my hands father this is a dear woman of God all the way from Bielsa I stand by the anointing of the Holy Spirit and I declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and I pray madam the Lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the Lord is saying I should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. 
in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now madam my God will honor you ah in the name of Jesus supernatural grace drink of that wine sir I'll pray for you the grace for leadership the grace for finance but I'm um, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do what else do you do I manufacture paint you manufacture paint that's right sir what am I seeing this is somebody it's, it's not directly the government but this is somebody that is connected to the government the Lord is going to connect him to you it's, it has something to do with supplies that thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you please write it you will see it happen father in the name of jesus i pray for this man of god i stretch my hands drink of that wine that anointing drink of that wine you will never be the same i stretch my hands i take away every limitation from your life and i decree and i declare your life turns around from today in the name of jesus give jesus praise goodness 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. Daddy, I see you. You held my heart in a dream. You will pray for me here. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus, go now. In the name of Jesus, you go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go listen i can we yeah. time is gone. Oh dear. you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing god wants to heal maybe i'll just pray i'll just pray for the sick from here we'll do it that way right but make no mistakes just that you that you are not coming out doesn't mean i want to pray for you now we'll take a few testimonies now in the last three or four months i have seen i don't know why this happens but i have seen a dimension of the healing power of god very creative miracles so i want to pray you are trusting god for a miracle lay your hand right now on your body quickly i want to pray for you now please believe god for a miracle now this is what will happen overflow one two three the roadside and then those following us online our time is gone but as soon as i pray for you now i pray for you the power of god is going to come upon you i'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as i pray i ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three i'm going to ask you to run very quickly you're going to come right here pastor jimmy will be here with pastor alpha they will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and i'll just confirm that um how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, i want you to do pr department help them protocol please help them while i'm praying for the sick i think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ 
I decree and declare right now. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. I'm, I'm praying now. Every spirit of infirmity, please make sure you are hearing me. Overflow one, two, three. Every spirit of infirmity, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you now. I curse you now. Say amen. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of Jesus now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus name peptic ulcer the Lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of Jesus Christ be healed in the name of Jesus Christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing a number of people having um, hepatitis. The Lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Eye conditions in the name of Jesus. You're going to feel fire just come to your eyes. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Every pain that has to do with the bones I decree and declare let the power of God touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands be healed right now in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of Jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether I mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you I stretch my hands and I declare be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside I'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our Facebook page or you can find a way to post it I want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of God has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and I'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly God bless you check yourself quickly Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus the Lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at God touching people already please make your way make your way the power of God has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies God bless you Koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, you... just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you, you... sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people. 
and I want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Back pain gone forever. Heaviness in the chest disappeared. How long, my dear? Just when you came here. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Um, I'm seeing someone. You had something like a, a growth around your neck. Check it now. You'll be surprised to find out it's gone. Gone completely. Gone completely. By the power of the Holy Ghost, gone completely. In Jesus' name, I declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in Jesus' name. Give Jesus praise. Deafness in the left ear since 2012. Since 2012. Oh, come on, Koinonia. How long, my friend? A man of God told me about it in 2012 and I prayed, but I was hearing those B sounds. And I don't hear really. Which well. of them? The left ear. Put your hand there now. In the name of Jesus, it never, never returns to you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Ulsa, you mentioned Ulsa. How long? Yes. Okay. Where are you from? Kaduna, sir. Kaduna State. Yes, sir. That's where you are from. Yes, your state of origin. Um, no, biologically. Biologically, where are you from? I'm from each Petal Court. I mean, I'm from State. There's a reason why I said this. There's a lot you don't know where you are from. There is a long story. Leave the issue of healing now. Where eh? I need to pray for you. Don't feel bad. Huh? Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free. In Jesus' oh, name. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower, lower back pain. pain affected her left leg also this pain in check her it back. now check it check it any pain yes. it's gone completely give the jesus last three praise. years <laughs> in the name of jesus christ it never returns to you again please make sure that we have the request if you are still yet if you are still with your wave it just wave it and an usher will come look at that man and you are sitting quietly there you wave it and let them know pain at the back completely healed pain at the back you fell under the anointing ah see you looking in the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? Seven. 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. 
so you bring the person the name of Jesus perfection for you right now in Jesus name she's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct but today they asked you to ride gone. a horse yes who said you should ride a horse the doctor or just advisors <laughs> don't, don't she's shy <laughs> the horse this is the man it's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you're wondering where am i going to Hi. the anointing amazing let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh? i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is gone. that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen by the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back, eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Eh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card, eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her okay. and watch what happens in your life. Amen. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she Jesus. had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Will feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay. you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind 
other times only the right one go blind, but now he's totally healed. He can see with both eyes. Have you gone to the hospital for this? But sometimes you just go blank like that. Come. In the name of Jesus, put your hands on your eyes. I decree and declare perfection. It's not just the bones are what give structures to a person. Doctors tell us. That means that by this miracle, God is speaking through it. Right? Like he's doing the miracle of Ezekiel 37. The bones coming back. Be a restoration of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Yes, please. Go ahead. So, back pain. He came here with waist pain, sorry. Waist pain. He came here with How long? serious pain. 2014. And now, it's gone. try to turn. It's gone. He is quartered for me. And, um, there's no squad. He's not, you did it for him. You didn't do it for me. Ah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.